Hey, what's up everyone, it's Mementus here, and in this video I'll be showing you the best location to get Seamoth Fragments in Subnautica. Really quick before we start, I'm getting really close to 250 subscribers, and I'm also going to shout out my 250th sub, so please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me guys. Anyways, what you're going to want to do is stand on this giant coral tube right here, it sticks out of the water and it's not that hard to find, and what you're going to want to do is look west on your compass. If you don't have your compass, I do have a video on the channel, you can click on it, it should be on the right hand corner of your screen right now. And now that we're ready, let's just start going west. So guys, you are going to pass through this kelp forest, don't worry about that, just keep going through until you get out of it. Alright guys, so once you get through the kelp forest into the glassy plateaus, what you're going to want to do is look around, and there it is right there, life pod 17. Now I've actually run a save five times in preparation for this video, and there has been a Seamoth Fragment right here every single time. So, just go ahead and scan that fragment. Alright guys, now just continue on this way to this big wreck right here. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory, just search around the outside of this place, and you may find yourself a lot more Seamoth Fragments. As you can see, I already have another one right here. Okay guys, so I just need one more Seamoth Fragment, and there we go, there's already another one right there. So there's three for me already, they might spawn a different location for you, or you might not have quite enough, you might be one short or something like that. And that is fine, there's plenty more all around, there's plenty of spawns for them, so do not worry about that. As you can see, there's also bioreactor fragments and a bunch of other things. And on the inside, there's mobile vehicle bay fragments, laser cutter fragments, lots of things. Alright guys, now that you have all three fragments for the Seamoth, I'm going to go back to my life pod and just do a quick run over of the materials you'll need to build it. Alright guys, I misword a little bit back there. You don't go to your life pod, you actually go to your mobile vehicle bay. And if I go in here, you can see to build the Seamoth, we need one titanium ingot which can be crafted with 10 titanium, a power cell, which needs two batteries and some silicone rubber, I believe, glass, you need two glass, which means you need four quartz, lubricant can be crafted with creepvine seeds, and lead, which can be gotten from sandstone outcrops. And there you go, guys, a complete guide to get yourself the Seamoth inside of Subnautica as quickly, easily as you can. If you enjoyed this video, Please subscribe, we're getting really close to 250 subscribers once again, and also like the video, help me out, you know, drop a comment maybe if you want to. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Peace.